So I've been pretty excited about this one. We've got new real Ghostbusters figures by Diamond Select, and so far they've released Winston, Egon, and Slimer. These Diamond Select Real Ghostbusters packages are quite huge, and it looks particularly funny in Slimer's case. Every figure does come with parts, though, to build the Ghostbusters firehouse door. But it does look rather funny, this rather small Slimer figure being on such a large card. So for now, it's just these three figures available, but they will be coming out with Ray, Peter, and Stay Puffed soon. So I thought I'd do a little side-by-side -side here with the original Kenner figure and the Maddie Collector Mattel Retro Action Real Ghostbusters. I do like how it's always been kind of consistent with this purple theme for Real Ghostbusters figures. And if you want a really odd comparison, here's Diamond Select Egon next to Miniland Egon, which yes, is something I'll talk more about eventually. The Diamond Select packages all have extreme close-ups of the figures on the side of them, which looks pretty neat. But it is a little disappointing that the presentation on the back of the cards is all just kind of the same, with, you know, the also available and which figure you're getting just being swapped around. It would have been nice if they had had artwork of some sort on there. Though not like the artwork they used on the back of the retro action figures, which has round glasses Janine. Don't need that. It is kind of nice though that they have bios for the figures in this line. Brought on board to help the team's three founding members deal with a suspicious spike in paranormal activity, Winston reliably provided the extra manpower that was needed. But the team was vindicated when they repelled an incursion into this dimension by the Sumerian god Gozer. Well, that's all just stuff from the movie, which I mean, sort of happened in the real Ghostbusters universe, but maybe not exactly that way. And I really don't know if Ghostbusters 2 happened in the real Ghostbusters universe, but there is the comic The Real Ghostbusters starring in Ghostbusters 2 the movie. Slimer, one of the resident ghosts at the Vulnerable Sedwick Hotel in New York City. This focused non-terminal repeating phantasm, or Class 5 full roaming vapor, haunted the 12th floor for years. He was eventually trapped, becoming the Ghostbusters first capture, but he was later released from the containment grid and became the Ghostbusters unofficial mascot. So these bios seem pretty movie heavily focused, but a lot of that could apply to the backstory of the cartoon. In his spare time, Egon collects spores, molds, and fungus. Well, no matter what universe it is, Egon's always into that. Unless there's like an evil goateed Egon where he hates collecting. In behind the figure tape to the car, there's a little flyer here for some of the other Ghostbusters Diamond Select toys. You know, if you want to get some of those weird Ghostbusters figures of the non-animated variety. Or you can go even sillier looking with the, um... Vinny mates, you know, those kind of Lego-ish looking figurines. Then there's also instructions for putting together, I guess, the Ghostbusters 2 firehouse door. So one thing I'll say about, you know, taking these guys out of the package so far is these twist ties are kind of annoying. I guess it's good they're really secure in there, but this is a lot just to get these guys out. And the way they have Slimer's other heads in here is on these, like, weird strap things that you just have to break, I guess. Fun packaging. Come off, you stupid thing. And you know, I'm excited about these figures, but I'm really not excited about how long it takes to get these figures off the bubbles. So while well, trying to untie this one, the wire just snapped, but you know what, I'll take it. So as I was taking Winston off his bubble here, it's like, yeah, he's free. Oh no, it's still not done. <laughs> I know this is becoming my stupid packaging nitpicks, but I really hate the stupid plastic around the thrower here. It's such a pain to get it off the bubble. So here's Egon, Winston, and Slimer out of the package and looking pretty darn awesome. 
I find it kind of interesting that with the actual Ghostbusters, they gave them this kind of more realistic look. Then with Slimer here, this is probably just one of the most cartoon accurate looking Slimer figures there's ever been. But hey, that's fine. It's not like they look like they don't go together or anything. It's just an observation. Now these figures look absolutely great, but it is also kind of strange to see the real Ghostbusters look this realistic. And I think this is the most Harold ramus -y, a real Ghostbusters Egon figure has ever looked. And one thing I'll say about Slimer's stand here is that this can be a little bit of a pain to get him balanced on this, right? One thing I find kind of strange here is they gave Slimer the butt, which he never had in the cartoon. Now, Slimer's look from behind did change in the cartoon. It started off as just kind of a bump back there, but, you know, without a butt outline like that. And then it turned into a tail later on. So I'm guessing all Slimer's body here is just kind of based on another movie Slimer figure. And, you know, they just pop the real Ghostbusters Slimer head on this body. So here's our evolution of Slimer figures, the original Kenner Green Ghost Slimer, and then the Retro Action Slimer, which was more of an accessory, and then the Diamond Select Slimer. I always thought with how small the Retro Action Slimer was that he would make more sense hanging out with the original Kenner Ghostbusters. So besides his stand, Slimer comes with two different heads to swap out. You've got angry Slimer, or just really pleased with himself Slimer. Looking at that face makes me think he just left a stinker somewhere. And if you're sick of Slimer, you can just have headless Slimer. And now I'll have Slimer possess Slimer! It's Q5's wet dream! The show is all Slimer and it's nothing! Now, while these figures are extremely visually appealing, they did just kind of give these guys all the exact same body, just painted differently. It's not that big of a complaint in this case, since Egon and Winston are roughly the same build. And these figures are extremely articulated. And this is without a doubt the best the real Ghostbusters Proton Pack has ever looked. Just looking at all the details they got right about the real Ghostbusters version of the Proton Pack makes me pretty happy. The PK meter is okay, though I wish the, like, the little antennas at the end weren't so flimsy looking. That's something I'll have to give it to the retro action figures on, though their PK meter is kind of weird too, since it has that third point in the middle, which was only on the toy version and not the show version of the PK meter. Now the trap looks pretty good, though there is a bit to be desired about it, mostly how the handle got bent in the package, and same with the hose connected to the foot pedal. It'd probably take a while to maybe get this, you know, bent back in the process, proper shape and you know the hose is always just gonna have those little bend points in it now so I don't know about that I feel like there could have been a better way to package this I mean unless that's how you want it displayed try to have it correctly uh, uh. I can't catch grumpy shrugging Slimer at all with this the Ghostbusters can all switch their hands out for gloved versions in different positions should you desire that. Winston and his one glove. The more cupped glove hands are probably a little better for holding the Neutrona wand. Now, a pretty cool accessory these guys all come with is a particle stream that you can stick onto the end of the Neutrona wand. And one thing I really liked that they did here was they gave them all different colored proton streams. And Winston's being yellow and Egon's being pink is the exact same colors their original Kenner figures had. So here's a comparison with the three main Winston figures with the original Kenner one, the retro action one, and of course the diamond select guy. It's kind of interesting how different the color of his jumpsuit got. And looking at the retro action figures next to the diamond select ones really just kind of highlights how different their proportions are. And here's the comparison of the three main Egon figures, and I always found it kind of interesting how light or dark his uniform would be portrayed sometimes. 
I think the kind of lighter pink collar is a bit more accurate on the retro action figure, and then the actual color of the jumpsuit on the Diamond Select one is the more accurate one. The retro action figures definitely give a much more cartoony appearance compared to these much more realistic looking Diamond Select guys. I'm really hoping we'll get some of the other characters in this line too, especially Janine and maybe some of the bigger ghosts in the series like Samhain or Sawin, whatever you want to call them, and the Sandman and the Boogeyman. Even though there's some issues with some of the accessories and stuff, I'd say this is the coolest real Ghostbusters line we've ever got, and I can't wait to get the rest of the figures. These figures look absolutely stunning, and I love having new real Ghostbusters figures which are so detailed and articulated. I wish Slimer's body was retooled a bit though, especially as his heads are all smoother than the wrinkly sliminess of his body. The accessories look great for the most part and are nicely painted. With maybe just a little more retooling on these, these would be the perfect modern real Ghostbusters figures, but still, 10. Obviously, these figures are slightly modified and repainted versions of the normal Ghostbusters figures from Diamond Select from the head down, even Slimer. But these are a really good and highly articulated mold. They made these figures look really nice and even gave a slight redesign for real Ghostbusters Egon and Winston. Eight. There is a bit of oddness, of course, just with this more realistic look of the real Ghostbusters, but I dig that about these figures. Four. While I like some of the layout choices of these packages, they also have a few drawbacks. Like I mentioned, it is a bit cumbersome getting the figures out of the package, and I'm not thrilled about how some of the accessories were stored. As that's caused them to get bent up, and there is really more than enough room on these huge plastic bubbles to not have that happen. Minor criticisms are the bios not really being tailored towards anything real Ghostbusters specific, and some artwork on the back might have been nice. Six. And the MMZ overall is nine! There's just a few minor nitpicks with a few things, but overall I'm really happy that they're making these new real Ghostbusters figures, and ones which are so high quality. Wow, Winston, I can't believe we made it to this line before Ray and Peter. Ow, oh, how sweet it is! Indeed, I'm having a wonderful time right now. Egan! Winston! Don't forget about Slimer! Well, the fun had to end at some point. Winston, that's me! So is you mooning everyone. I can't believe this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to invent an ectoplasmic diaper. Ghostbusters, your inane banter is so annoying. Oh damn, Egon, is Halloween gonna be forever again? I sure hope not, Winston. I got a little too excited the last time that happened. Looks like Slimer's gonna have to take out the trash! Oh, I forgot that you had that dumb little ghost with you. All too easy. Wow, he got he even knocked over Slimer's stand. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I guess. Man, without Ray and Peter here to back us up, we're going to really need a good plan to take this guy out. I think I know just the thing, Winston. Blast him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That all it's going to take. This is the worst writing ever. Hey, could have been worse, Sam Hain. Could have been like in Halloween two and a half when the Junior Ghostbusters took you down. Ah, oh, fair enough. 